Welcome all RIS. Today I have for you the SRPD97J1. Now I have a question for you. Are you a fan of the Grand Seiko Snowflake, but you're not a fan of its sizing? Might be too big, might have um, too long of a lug to lug. Or maybe you are a fan of the Grand Seiko Snowflake, but it's not quite in your price range. Well, this here is a great alternative. As you can see, it has that nice white textured dial and a blue seconds hand similar to the Snowflake. But if you have a look at the indices, they are finished as well. And the indices are so unique. It really glistens in the sunlight and the blue seconds hand really pops in under different lighting, especially in the sunlight. So like this, you can't really see it, but when light shines in it, look at that. The blue just shines. Now, this watch, it's around a uh, 38 millimeter case, I believe. And if you have a look on the wrist, <clears throat> I have a six and a half inch wrist, and this is how it fits. Now, it's not fitted to my wrist, um, this is actually my partner's watch. I purchased it for her birthday, so it's sized to her wrist, but I could definitely wear it on my wrist. And, uh, let's be honest, I bought it for her, but really, it's so that I could stare at it. And I'll put it on my, um, right hand for you left-headed folk. It's a bit snug. She has a really small wrist. Here we go. Look at those indices shine. Alrighty. One second, just taking it off my wrist. Alrighty. Now, this watch, maybe you own a um, snowflake and you're... Um, scared to scratch it up this would be a great daily replacement and as you can see this watch has been heavily worn look at that look at all those battle scars scratches dents you name it look at that but you know one thing that hasn't been damaged the crystal okay now my partner she's not a watch person so she just sees it as a piece of jewelry and I've seen her bang it on every single corner you can name. So, I mean, she likes the watch, but look, she wears it, you know, doesn't really um, pay attention to it, but look, it still runs great. I mean, it just has scratches. And look, you can't really um, notice much of the scratches on the bracelet but it is heavily, heavily scratched. Okay, it's heavily scratched. So you can tell that she has worn this daily. She has beaten it, and it still runs perfect. Now, one thing I like about this watch is the dial is so well done, and the indices are so well done, that your eyes are immediately drawn to the dial, and you kind of forget about all these scratches. That's what's so good about it. And the short lug to lug makes it a really comfortable wearing experience. Now looking at the back, you know, nothing special, not really a special movement, but nice gold rotor, nice touch to the watch. And the bracelet is really comfortable. It actually, this bracelet, um, it's probably one of the most comfortable bracelets I've ever worn. It wraps around the wrist really nicely. Let's take a look at that dial again. Look at that. My favorite thing about this watch is the indices. I mean, they're just so unique. It kind of reminds me of that, um, the uh, frosted AP, the way it's finished. Look at that. 
his side profile. With the crown. Bracelet meets the lugs. But man, that dial. And this watch, I could see this being a strap monster. I mean, any strap, it could match any strap. And it's obviously a, a very good daily beta. I mean, look at the battle scars. Now, I think this has a... Um, 30 meter water resistance, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try to find that. Water resistant to. Well, I think it's about 30 meters. And so my partner has um, soaked this under a tap drowned it while cleaning the dishes um i mean wore it in the heavy rain you you could just drop this underwater like for example if you're just washing the dishes or um, in the sink and it will be fine i mean i know a lot of people think that 30 um, meters of water resistance is a bit low but i mean it's been look it's been battered bruised it's been put under water and it's still fine. Um, if you're just using it for daily use, obviously not diving, um, it'll do just fine. And I mean, ugh, I think that dial and the indices just makes you forget about its flaws, really. I mean, it's a great watch. Great, great little watch. Wears absolutely amazingly. I mean, look at this. It's just so nice, especially in the sunlight. I mean, I, I can't emphasize it anymore. It, it just looks amazing in the sun. Grab more of that texture for you guys. So there it is. The SRPD 97J, a great, great alternative to the Grand Seiko Snowflake. You know, it kind of gives you that Grand Seiko vibe with those, you know, how they focus on their dials and that blue second hand. It's just a great watch overall. Thanks for watching, guys.